after that. Holy crap, did you hear the backfire? What is up guys, Eric here from Race Ram Fam, and today we are going to be installing an exhaust evacuation system for my 2004 Dodge Ram SRT10 Turbo. If you guys are with the channel, you guys know this baby. If you saw my last video, we got the new turbo uh, set up and new turbo kit set up and everything. And today we're going to be installing an exhaust evacuation kit, which actually is a new crankcase breather. So what it does is kind of like a vacuum pump. It uses a Venturi effect through your exhaust to pull a vacuum on your crankcase. So it's right here. So these little guys got to be mounted at a 45 degree. The exhaust flowing by it, uh, pull air out this way, and it puts a vacuum on the actual crankcase to help relieve uh, crankcase pressure and all that stuff. We're having a little issue with crankcase pressure because my turbo leaks a little bit because due to the fact of all the crankcase pressure because my catch can breather is just not big enough for the amount of boost and power and engine size of this 505 cubic inch Viper V10. We got this little filter right here. Uh, it's just not kicking it no more. If you blow in the actual drain tube of the turbo, there's a lot of pressure in there. So today we're gonna be hooking up the exhaust evacuation kit and probably heard me say it 300 times, but we're gonna be mounting this in the downpipe of my turbo. Uh, hopefully this works. It should work pretty good, uh, but we'll find out. I mean, I've never used this before. I figured it out from a friend, and it sounded sweet, so I had to try it. So here's our downpipe right here. I just got done mocking this up and adding a little bend to it and TIG welding it up. So somewhere in probably this location, we will be welding in these guys right here at a 45 degree angle, two of them. Uh, like three quarters of an inch in I have to look at the directions again to be exactly sure and then these guys right here These ones right here are actual check valves those thread onto these that are welded to the downpipe and then you run uh, 5 ace heater hose from here. They come with new uh, Crankcase breathers, but we're gonna use the stock ones because those are drilled out already and just straight hole from the motor No baffle no nothing. There's no PCV in there It's just a hole in the valve cover and that's what you need so that is what we are going to be doing. So right now we're going to hook that downpipe back up and figure out exactly where we want to mount them. And then we will drill our holes, wall them out a little bit so we can get that 45 degree tilt of that little Venturi guy. And yeah, we're just going to keep ripping on it. So we got those two fittings welded onto the downpipe for the EVAF um, exhaust EVAC system. You can see them right there. Got it fully TIG welded on, just like everything else. This pipe we cleaned and prepped with some uh, brake clean and uh, just a little sandpaper. And then we actually flattened it a little bit to try to give it a little bit more wheel clearance. Well, it's in there because it does go down the wheel well. Um, so now what we're going to do is take apart the rest of the turbo kit, prep it, and we are going to ceramic coat it all with some VHT flame proof exhaust header paint right here. Hopefully it holds up well. Um, the problem is right now all the ceramic coat places aren't opened due to the epidemic. But other than that, we are just keep grinding away. So now we are going to pull the full turbo system out get it out, uh, get it all cleaned up with some acetone and a wire brush, emery cloth, that's what it was. And yeah, so we're gonna take the turbo out, take manifold out, take cross pipe off, uh, weld in the bunk for the O2 sensor. I got my wire extensions in the mail, so we'll get that all hooked up and get it all painted, and then hopefully tomorrow we can put it all back together and go for a good test drive. Fingers crossed.
all the turbo pieces out. They're all laying right here. All the exhaust side stuff. Crossover pipe, manifold, uh, up pipe, down pipe, turbo. And the only thing we don't have out is the uh, driver's side exhaust manifold because that's just a stock Gibson shorty exhaust manifold. So we don't need to paint that because it's already ceramic coated. This one we're going to ceramic coat. That one's we're going to ceramic coat. That one we're going to ceramic coat. That one we're going to leave alone because it's stainless and it looks really pretty. Uh, we got that other fitting welded in. O2 sensor fitting, so we'll have to get that done. I think we're going to paint the exhaust housing too. Uh, maybe not. And we're going to leave the exhaust housing. We're not going to paint that. But everything else we are going to paint. So the three things, three big things. And yeah, guys. So we're going to go start getting that prepped up, sanded down, cleaned up, and painted. All right, guys. So now we're in my other garage. We got all the parts hung up and ready for some of the VHT. All sanded down with some sandpaper and a Brillo pad and clean it all with some brake clean so we're ready to start spraying and then we'll let this guy cook in here we have a heater in here so we'll let it cook in here after we get about three to four coats on it yeah i'm gonna get this all painted let's do the finished project so we just got two coats of paint or two cans of paint not two coats like three coats of paint on the down pipe the manifold and the crossover tube and they turned out pretty good all black and everything well we'll really know when we get it in direct sunlight because it's like 10 p.m at night right now in my single car garage up front. But yeah, it's turned out really good. I'm excited to get this stuff all put back together. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get it all put back together. We'll get that extension for the O2 sensor and then we'll move the wideband and do a couple few other things and we'll be ready to rip SRT10 and start retuning him. So I'm extremely excited. I hope you guys are too. I hope we can take him for a rip tomorrow, but you guys will have to stay tuned for that. For you guys, it'll be like, a millisecond for me it's gonna be a whole day so see you guys when I open the camera tomorrow our ceramic coating job turned out actually really well and I'm actually really happy with how it turned out it looks good uh, we didn't ceramic coat that guy cuz it looks dope so we didn't ceramic coat it but manifold ceramic coated crossover pipe and down pipe ceramic coated we also will be wrapping the down pipe because of how close it gets to the header or not the header <laughs> yes because of how close it gets to the other hot thing no because of how close it gets to the PCM so that will be wrapped, titanium wrapped. I ordered new stuff. I might be able to reuse this stuff, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna use the new stuff that I ordered. And yeah, so now we're just gonna throw the whole truck back together. We got the oxygen spacer extension wiring, or the wiring extension for the oxygen sensor installed. We just gotta get this guy plugged in and everything put back together. So that's what we're gonna do right now, is just reassemble SRT-10. Hey guys, three hours later, we got the full turbo kit back in. We got the wastegate plumb, we got the wideband moved. We got everything installed and it is looking awesome. The intercooler pipe on, all the exhaust manifolds, V-bands tightened. I ended up snapping that bolt on the V-band and had to cut the V-band apart and put another bolt in that I had laying around. It welded back together. Uh, good thing I had a TIG welder. And then, yeah, we just got everything hooked back up. Wastegate dump, and we are ready to start it. Oh, we got the exhaust evac hooked up. If you guys can see that down there. To the manifolds, we're gonna take the oil cap off and see if it actually pulls a vacuum on the motor or if it's pumping exhaust in there, which it shouldn't. I've read a lot of things about this, and everyone's extremely happy with it. So we'll see. But yes, we're about to start SRT tent up again right now.
SRT-10's back and faster than ever. Holy crap. I hope you guys like that. I enjoyed it. I think Chas enjoyed it too, didn't you? It was fun. I know, it made my stomach drop. Oh. Gotta get a GoPro on this thing. It shakes just the whole interior. It's crazy, guys. SRT-10's a monster. She really is. So we gotta finish wrapping the exhaust. Hopefully we didn't melt anything. I don't think we did, but I want to still wrap the downpipe with titanium wrap, so we still got that to do, and then we gotta put the wheel wells back in because there's no wheel liners in right now. And then we might have to get wheel spacers because the wheel's hitting the exhaust or small spacers or something. We just gotta do something about that because I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. But yes, guys. SRT-10's a monster. Got chills. It just shreds the tires. It's fast. It's awesome. Alright, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, keep it boosted. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>